Hi, this is Daniel here with Wilson today to show you the Federer DNA 12 pack bag. So the first thing you'll notice with this bag is these awesome molded sides, give it a really strong, uh, stylish look. You have the Federer logo down here, the Wilson logo on this side. Um, it's got this nice kind of, yeah, angled look. Very, very strong feeling, very cool. Inside, it's, pretty, it's a pretty basic bag. It has two of these thermo guard pockets on each side. So I've kind of used this one for the majority of gear. There's not kind of separate spots for this gear, so you kind of got to throw it in. Uh, but you have thermal guard, so you have extra rackets there, shoes, balls. This side I have uh, rackets exclusively. So you can fit a ton of rackets over here. So I got four rackets there, really easy. Uh, and then you have accessory pockets on either side. And they have some different features in them, so let's talk about them for a minute. This one kind of has two elastic pouches. So you can store some different things in there. Uh, quite a bit of space. You could probably put a can of balls in there too. Definitely loose balls if you're using them again. On this side, uh, there's a, a little pocket here with a zipper. Uh, there's my phone I have in a fleece lined case, some pens, and then this is kind of a neat little feature. There's like a keychain, it actually detaches. So you can take that off if you have like a locker key or um, you know your personal car keys in there. So. That attaches there. As far as carrying options go, these kind of pop up. They're streamlined down into the bag. Um, so these will pop up when you, when you grab it to carry it. There's also this hanging strap right here. So that's really good for uh, lockers or pulling it out of your car. As well as these adjustable backpack straps on the bottom. So that is the Federer DNA bag. Again, it's just a really fashionable bag. Federer has kind of helped out make it look extra cool. Um, has some good functionality as well. To get this bag, you can go to MidwestSports.com.